Hey guys, today is a Saturday. It's October 24 and it is actually the Dewey's 24 hour readathon. So I am so excited to participate in that readathon. But before I show you my TBR for this readathon, I will just post a photo on my bookstagram. I will talk to you guys later. So now I will be showing you guys my TBR for this readathon, starting off with Everlasting Nora by Marie Miranda Cruz. And this book follows Nora, who ended up staying in a cemetery with her mother when she lost her father and their home. And then her mother suddenly disappears out of nowhere, mysteriously. And then this book just follows Nora and her journey in trying to find her mother together with the help of her best friend and, and mother. The next book on my TBR is a fantasy which is Beasts Made of Night by Tochi Onyibuchi which I know nothing about except for the fact that it has seen beasts and seen eaters. So that sounds really interesting. Another book that I'm hoping to read during this readathon is Black Witch Magic by Mila Nix. And this one I will be reading as an ebook as I am a part of a blog tour hosted by Expresso Book Tours. And the last book on my TBR is actually an audiobook which is When No One Is Watching by Alisa Cole. And I actually got a copy from Libro.fm and the publisher. I actually do not know anything about When No One Is Watching so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into the story and see how I'll like it. It's actually already 9 o'clock so I just spent more than an hour talking to the camera but also on my bookstagram so that's an hour lost on reading but now I'm gonna go ahead and start reading Everlasting Nora. I am so excited so yeah. One chapter into this book and I already shed a few tears, just a few. Um, it really reminds me of my childhood with my father. Oh my god. I'm okay. So there are actually quarterly challenges on Instagram for the Dewey's 24 hour readathon. And for this fourth hour, the challenge is to make a small poem from a book title. The girls of paper and fire are truly devious. They are legend with grace and fury. Hey guys, so it's already hour 7. Um, it's 2 a.m. in my time zone. And I only have 60 pages left in Everlasting Nora. I can't wait to finish it. I am totally loving this book. And I cannot wait to share my thoughts on this book later on. My nephew is studying fly, which is so cool. Good job to you, kiddo. Hey guys, so it's already 3 o'clock and I finally finished Everlasting Nora. Totally giving it 5 out of 5 stars. It is really good and it just has this special place in my heart now. This is a sad book because it shows the reality of most of the Filipino people. Um, it shows the hardships of the poor people here in the country but Filipinos are resilient and it was clearly shown in this book. Um, it shows here that not a lot of us or not most of us really have a choice in our status in life but as I've mentioned earlier, Filipinos are resilient and Nora and the other people in this book were just doing all their best to make it through the day. There are definitely a lot of sad moments here in this book, especially because Nora and the other kids in this novel have to learn about the hardships of life and how life is somehow unfair sometimes at such a young age but I'm really glad that they got through all these hardships and it has a happy ending. I would highly recommend this book if you're looking for a middle grade realistic novel. I just feel like the blurb of Erin and Trada Kelly is so 
for real because it states here that readers will escape into a world unlike any other and will be better for it. I think that once you've read this novel, you will just see the world in a whole new different point of view, especially because this book has a point of view of an innocent child. It's just so lovely. Please go read this book. So I'm currently here in our kitchen because I am craving for some snacks. So I will be um, cooking an egg and put it inside my monai. <laughs> While I'm cooking and having my snack, I will be listening to the audiobook of When No One Is Watching by Alisa Cole. My Bluetooth earphones are just ran out of a battery so now I can't listen to my audiobook anymore so I'll just be reading my ebook of a black witch magic and I'm gonna remove my makeup now because I'm going to lie down in my bed so I will see you guys in the morning oh hey I didn't see you there so I just like to give you guys an update since I haven't updated you since last night when I told you that I will be going to a bed already to read my ebook. So I ended up DNFing or I did not finish Black Witch Magic because two chapters in and I can already feel that it is not for me. Actually, in the first chapter, I already know that it's going to be a struggle for me to read the book because it's just so lengthy and I don't know if all those information are relevant to the story. I just give it a chance and so I decided to still read chapter 2 but after reading that, I just... I knew it. That book is not for me. And of course, I'm not happy that I DNF um, Black Witch Magic since I was really excited to read it. Um, it's my first time to read a book about a librarian who's also a witch or just, you know, reading about a witch in this modern world. So, yeah. If you have any recommendations on some uh, which story that is set in the modern world then just leave a comment down below and uh, yeah so you might notice that i'm wearing such a heavy makeup today um it's because i just got myself the eyeshadow palette from the collaboration of vice cosmetics and Ancludes. so if you do not know who Ancludes is she's basically a makeup vlogger here in the philippines and vice cosmetics is a local brand here and I love this makeup product so much it's it's like everything in one because um, my eyebrow my eyeshadow this little eyeliner here my blush my contour as well as my highlight are all from this one palette so if you want a budget friendly palette then i highly recommend this one i just got it for like 319 pesos plus a shipping fee because it was on sale when i got it but i think the original price is 399 or something which is still a steal if you're going to ask me because as i've mentioned you can do a full face makeup using just this one product and while I'm doing my makeup, I actually listened to When No One Is Watching by Alisa Cole and I got to 28% of the audiobook and now that I'm already all made up and I already gave you an update, then now I'm going to continue listening to that audiobook and hopefully finish it before this readathon ends because i think it's already 4 30 pm or something so we only have like less than four hours before this readathon ends and i have only finished one book now if i'm going to be honest i am really feeling competitive right now in this readathon so 
let me think all right i have decided that i won't be continuing with my audiobook of when no one is watching because i know that if i continue with that i will just end up having read two books and i don't want that because i am really feeling competitive right now so what i'm gonna do is to look for spooky mysterious thriller um graphic novels or short comics or short novels on script and read as much as i can and since i will be using my phone that i'm using right now in vlogging to read books on script i wouldn't be able to um like vlog the whole experience so i'll just give you guys an update here and there so yeah and it's already the end of the dewey's 24 hour readathon i ended up finishing four books um starting off with everlasting nora by marie miranda cruz which i gave five out of five stars and i already talked about this earlier on in the vlog so i won't be talking about it anymore um the next book that i uh read was when no one is watching by alisa cole but i only got up to 28 percent of the audiobook and then after that i read black witch magic by mila nix and i ended up not finishing it because as i've said earlier on in the vlog it is just not for me after that i read three graphic novels i mean one graphic novel and two mangas um the graphic novel that i read was flamer by mike curato curato um he's actually a filipino artist or a filipino author and i really enjoyed flamer definitely recommended to everyone i give it five out of five stars um trigger warning for suicide homophobia fat phobia and racism um it's just it's a good story i really loved how um mike was able to show us what it feels like being an asian in the america and being um you know not knowing what you are especially with the main character who is going through an identity crisis so yeah i highly recommend that you check that out if you're looking for a new graphic novel to read and then the last two books that i read were the mangas that i told you which is silent voice volume 2 and volume 3 i give them both three out of five stars i think they're just okay like the first um volume it's not so good but it's not that bad as well but i kept on continuing on with the series hoping that something good will happen so i think i'll just keep on hoping and that is it for today's reading vlog i hope that you enjoyed watching it and i will see you guys again next week bye